So now, in a previous video, we had a wire of this size. It actually came from this uh, voltage and uh, current meter right there. And I ended up just uh, putting the wires into the solderless connectors right there. You just clamp them down, and this seems to be holding them uh, really well right there. But uh, I really wanted to take uh, one of these ferrules. So that's actually the ferrule that I used on uh, one of those two wires. And um, when I uh, crimped it down, it just slid right off. So I made another video where I just mentioned, instead of a ferrule, I uh, clamped it to this, which I was using to begin with, but I'd rather put it in a terminal block. So in any case, uh, my smallest ferrules are 22 American wire gauge right there. And uh, as I said before, it slid off. And um, somebody watched that video and uh, commented on something that I should have thought of on my own, but um, we can, uh, you know, strip this uh, wire over there. Not going to use this, and uh, going to bend it though, so it'll help uh, hold the strands in place while I strip it. Uh, strip off uh, more than you need for the ferrule, and then fold it in half, and that will thicken it enough where uh, hopefully it will grab uh, when we crimp it. So let's see. So again, this is the extra wire that I had there when I uh, made this, and I planned on saving it in case I needed wire again, and uh, so glad I did. So again, I uh, took what was already stripped and bent it there just to kind of hold it in place when we removed the strands. Now, in case you're uh, worried you might not have enough uh, strands uh, towards the end or something, you can trim the edge or whatever, but uh, in any case, this tool can do that. It also will strip the insulation. So we want the full tongue. If uh, this would work without the having to double it over, I think I would put it halfway right there. As you're gonna see, we have a lot more sticking out of the end than we need, unless we're gonna double it over, which is what I'm going to do. So there we go, we plucked it. And again, I'm gonna hold these strands so that uh, they don't uh, come out as you uh, pull on that. And there you can see. They're all the same length, that means we didn't uh, tug one or two of them out. So now, here we have the uh, crimping tool, and I don't know if I can adjust it so it would crimp tighter or not. Um, that looks like a, a decent crimp right there, but uh, when I did that, the wires uh, slid out. So there you can see they're spreading, that will cause a problem, uh, you know, trying to insert them. So give it a, a slight twist right there. You know, you're not trying to bind them up, just a slight enough twist to insert them. And I'm just showing you that uh, they're going to stick way out of the end right there. So I noticed this when I uh, crimped that other one, but I thought maybe I'll just uh, cut off uh, wires at the end. So there you can see uh, we got, uh, you know, a fair amount out there. So I was just planning on uh, stripping them. But uh, for this video, we are going to bend the back, and I probably want to use the pliers, I think. So, um, this one can also uh, cut wires uh, right there. If you got like two that you want a certain length, this one it's a little easier to get an accurate uh, cut uh, for length. Um, but uh, just thought I would point that out. I would use this for more accuracy and uh, trying to get uh, multiple wires the same length, um, especially if they're not coming from the same source. So, yeah, we put. Uh, bend these down and um, I think uh, don't know how much I'm going to twist it I should be able to twist it with uh, the pliers right there so I think that'll help it go in a little bit easier trying to keep the strands from uh, separating but also uh, since we got that end right there the uh, the other ends of the strands will not uh, separate as long as we keep the, the folded part uh, together so there we go and uh, yeah that is, that's a tight fit. I may have to, uh, I'm going to twist this. So now, I've been uh, trying to bunch these up a little bit more, going to that flat part uh, in there instead of uh, the jagged part. So I'm hoping um, that kind of pulled them closer together. And then again, I'm going to uh, try to give it a twist right there. There's not much else to hold on. So again, this is my smallest ferrule. Um, so it's kind of finicky. And there we go. I can feel it slide in. Looks like that worked out uh, pretty well. So, alrighty, it's kind of gripping in there uh, quite a bit. So I think we will have a solid connection. But uh, whenever you crimp something, there we go. All you gotta do is squeeze, not that hard to do. Um, you grab both ends and you pull. 
with uh, some real force right there and it should not pop out so yeah it looks like we got a decent crimp right there by folding in half but uh, with this small wire it was uh, a bit finicky I had to bunch them together to uh, try to keep them together so now the reason for putting all that effort into that in my thinking right there I have been doing the solderless connections right there to clamp to the wire as I said before but if I uh, remove the wire uh, the strands they kind of separate and everything and they they get bent and they sooner or later like get stuck when I keep adding them and removing them from there so I'd rather have the strands all uh, connected together and in fact I think um, even uh, with the uh, ferrule there will get a good clamp on the, the ferrule with this particular connector right there it's made for solid wire as well so you could do that so you can insert and remove that a lot um, but I was thinking I might want a terminal block because uh, we got all kinds of connections that uh, will share connections with these two there power supply and going out to the load and everything so I thought you know it might just be simplest to use the terminal block and uh, so with the ferrules this is bent this is bent from the screw right there so I'll turn it around uh, we'll uh, bend it the other way right there and it's not that hard to bend that uh, so it's already making contact and uh, mostly trouble is getting it so you can see me turning the screwdriver I'm not doing a lot of force right there so I mean it's not easy but it's it's not uh, like tough either not putting a lot of effort and I don't have the Phillips head or anything just with the straight right there uh, the standard uh, screwdriver I can close it down now I'm not sure uh, you can see how small this is um, so it's gonna be trickier to uh, especially filming to get this uh, between the screw and uh, the bottom down there so I think I'll lower it and uh, there we go it worked worked its way towards the middle a bit you know not perfectly as long as this is going the other side though we should be fine but uh, in any case uh, let's uh, screw her down I'm gonna hold the wire so it doesn't twist but yeah we got a really solid connection right there even even that little ferrule so yeah you can see we could uh, uh, go you know a fair amount larger with these uh, ferrules right there uh, but the main thing is that uh, we're not damaging stranded wire uh, doing this uh, we can do the ferrule the ferrule should be able to handle inserting and removing this uh, many many times even if you do it uh, uh, tightly maybe forever so um yeah that was my thinking um and yeah a viewer uh, mentioned that i should have thought of that I, I didn't know about it but uh just leave extra wire out and bend it in half and uh then uh, you can use a larger ferrule than what uh, that wire would require uh, with just a straight end so thanks for watching make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video